My name is Alex Grinberg. I'm the founder of EYS, and with me is uh, Dean Young, our head of product. And thank you, Finnovate, for scheduling this event straight after the Super Bowl weekend, which means that uh, those of us from Denver um, had to stay up till 3 o'clock in the morning to watch the Broncos win, but it was worthwhile. What we're about to show you is going to change the way that consumers and financial institutions think about and treat personal data. Personal data market, according to the World Economic Forum, is going to be valued at 1 trillion euros by 2020. The current approach to consumer data ownership, particularly by financial institutions, is asymmetric. They hold your personal data and they monetize it. They develop products and services and they deliver those to the consumer. Consumers want their financial services to be fast, simple, cost-effective and secure. And they want to be in control of their own personal financial data. They also want to make informed financial decisions. They largely trust banks, they trust the brands, they trust the guarantee that many governments provide for financial institutions. And the legal and regulatory environment that we're seeing evolving in the European Union is designed to strengthen consumer data protection. With these issues in mind, EYS is today launching EYS Aegis, a secure, customer-centric data management solution. EYS Aegis aggregates personal data securely, privately, and effectively, and it creates a personal data permission schema based on the aggregated data that we provide to the application. EY's Aegis provides an easy API for the financial institution and the service provider. We're all familiar with Fitbit, a device that records uh, your activity, health-related information, stores it on your mobile phone. Just like Fitbit, EY's Aegis enables the consumer to gather, store, and monetize their own personal financial data. Let us show you the EY's Aegis platform and run through a couple of scenarios of consumer interaction. Dean will look at the summary of all of his online accounts, account balances, all in real time from his device. The UI UX is crisp, simple, and compelling. Note that the aggregation is actually being performed in real time from Dean's device. And we're device agnostic, laptop, tablet, mobile, doesn't matter. There is no third party involved. As a consumer, you are not being asked to disclose your credentials, user ID and password to any third party. Go. Thanks, Alex. Uh, while Alex was talking, I've already signed on. And you can see here that I've aggregated a number of products and they've been displayed on the screen. We group the products by product type. So under savings and current, I have eight different savings and current accounts. Those accounts are coming from another number of major institutions. You can see three of the major banks in Australia, Citibank in Singapore, um, also Qantas because we can aggregate non-financial information as well. If I wanted to add an additional institution, I would simply click on the add provider, select the type of provider, the actual provider that I wanted to add, and the system would then tell me which credentials are needed for that particular Sorry about that. For that particular institution, those credentials are then stored and encrypted on the consumer's own device. Credentials are never passed to a server. They're never passed to a third party. They never come to EYS. They stay on the device, and the aggregation itself takes place from the device. Now, when I look at the current and savings accounts under savings and current, you'll see a Commonwealth Bank account. But as I scroll across, the Citibank account has a padlock on it. The reason for that is the consumer has elected not to share the Citibank account with the provider of this service. We very much believe in data privacy and ownership of the data by the end consumer. So there can be a number of third parties that want to provide a service to the consumer in return for access to that data, uh, whether that be a financial advisor, tax agent. And for the purposes of today, EYS is offering a PFM service, analysis, budgeting, and cash flow. We tell the consumer what transaction data we need. The consumer says, yes, I'm prepared to share that, 
but then has another level of granularity where they can decide which particular accounts they're going to share. Some I'm sharing, some I've not. And then that enables that data to be shared and the service to be provided back to the consumer. Thank you, Dean. So that's what we're doing to create a personal data economy, a very personal data-rich environment aggregated on a consumer's device, lots of apps that sit on top of that, including personal financial management through a comprehensive API. But underneath it all, a compelling and powerful data schema that the consumer owns and controls. The consumer gets to decide how much or how little of that personal financial information is shared with the financial institution that's providing the service or, in fact, a third party. The consumer gets to decide what value they expect to receive in exchange for that data. EYs and our banking customers are excited about the EYs Aegis platform for the obvious innovative use cases that it provides. And it's certainly based on many years of development uh, and implementation with our banking customers across US, UK, China, and Asia Pacific. EYs is the leading international provider of aggregation PFM solutions and the inventor of client-side aggregation. Our customers include some of the largest financial institutions around the world. We are creating a new economic force, one where the consumer gets real-time personal data, their data, from a number of sources, and we're completely agnostic as to where that data comes from. For the first time, the consumer is in control. They see everything, and they get to decide who gets to see and who gets to benefit from their data. Power to the consumer. Join us at the booth to find out more about EY's Ages. Thank you.